Hi ladies, I'm back again. I have another video for, for you guys. And this time I'm gonna make espagueti. Not spaghetti, pero espagueti. It's the, I guess you can call it the Mexican way. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what you guys will need. So come on closer. So this is what we'll need. Aquí está mi paquete de thin spaghetti. You can use regular spaghetti. I've used the fettuccine, but what I like to use mostly thin spaghetti. Se cocina o se cuece más rápido también. You're gonna use comino, cumin, norcisa, chicken bouillon. I like using this brand better, and polvo también. Salt, queso fresco, again, whatever brand you like. This is our favorite. Sour cream, any brand you like as well. I'm gonna use four tomatoes, onion, and uh, garlic, okay? So, I already have my water running over here for my tomatoes, I have my water running for the spaghetti. So this water is already boiling. First things first, I'm gonna put aceite. Y le voy a poner sal. Ya me lave las manos. Just so you guys can get a visual. Like a tablespoon or teaspoon, tablespoon, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. And what I like to do, so it's easier, I get a handful and I break it in half. Just a little tip for you guys. And the water was already boiling. So you wanna make sure the water is boiling when you add the spaghetti. And right here in this water, le voy a poner los tomates. Voy a poner los cuatro tomates. So we're gonna let that boil. This should take maybe like, give or take five minutes. It's thin spaghetti, so it should be done soon. And then the tomatoes will take a couple minutes as well, like about five to 10 minutes. So we'll get back to you guys in a bit. Okay. Spaghetti is ready. Ya le pagué. It took literally about six, seven minutes. Um, también no lo quieres too soggy because they don't taste good. So it took about six to seven minutes. Again, this was a thin spaghetti. So if you use regular spaghetti or um, any other kind of pasta, it may take longer. So you have to keep an eye on. And um, the way I check it is I look at it, I bite it too. Um, you will know what the texture right away. Y luego, another way you can know, it's like the pasta feels like sticky. And while the pasta was boiling, I went with my tongs and I was separating the pasta because they're big. So you want to make sure that you periodically just putting in your beans out there and just um, para que no esté sticking. So I'm going to put this down and I'm now going to drain all this. All right, like so. Get a facial. Kidding. Okay, I'm gonna just rinse it out so you don't get any of that pasta debris. Rent. Rinse, rinse, rinse. So we're just gonna leave the pasta there for a second. Los tomates ya están también, so los vamos a sacar. We're gonna get rid of this Con cuidado, no, no se van a quemar comaditas, eh? Ok. So así lo vamos a dejar. Voy a agarrar mi licuadora. Y vamos a poner los tomates. Like 
also y le, le he dejado poquitita agua so se lo voy a echar aquí ok, ya le eché esto ahora le vamos a echar lo demás so le voy a echar a pinch of comino what you grab with three fingers that's all you need cebolla y ajo y lo que más vamos a echarle también es norcisa chicken bouillon I'm gonna put like around a tablespoon alrighty so let's get this blending So lo vas a moler muy bien, ok? So ya molí la salsa de tomate y ahora vamos a este, ya le puse aceite en mi cacerolita right here. I'm gonna put a, put a piece of onion on my oil. Every, every time I do a video, you, when I'm doing cooking, cuando voy a guisar siempre um, le pongo aceite y un pedacito de cebolla para que suelte sabor la cebolla a los guisados. So I just let it, I let the onion just simmer in there. Le da buen sabor. Yo siempre lo guisado, sea frijoles, sea um, arroz, whatever, anything. Voy a guisar un pedazo de cebolla en mi aceite. You could just leave it there, but... You don't want to leave it extendido because no quieres que se te queme la cebolla. Que luego le da otro sabor al aceite. Y con cuidado, comaditas, no se me vaya a quemar con el aceite que esté brincando, eh. Ok. Ya. Yeah. That's enough time for the cebolla. Now, if you want, le puedes apagar para que no brinque la salsa cuando le eches en el aceite. No se espanten, es más el ruido que lo que brinca. So, no tengan miedo, pero con cuidado, por favor. Ok, vamos so a turn this back on. Y voy a dejar que se guise en este, un poquito de hierba. Y voy a echar el madero, pero ok. Ok, guys. So my salsita here started boiling. I had it like in medium low, and it took what probably took like about five minutes or so to start to boil. So let's do the taste test. A ver si le falta salita. De seguro que sí. It's delicious. So we're gonna put like. Poquitita no más falta. Maybe like a teaspoon. Because el chicken bouillon, el comino, el ajo, la cebolla, es lo que le da mucho sabor. Ok. So ya le echamos la sal. Next. The best part. Sour cream. So I'm using this big spoon. Let's see. I'm probably going to use like half of the sour cream. It's a 16 ounce, so it's going to be half of that, so 8 ounces, I believe. No soy experta en matemáticas, so please forgive me. Y aún así es el gusto de uno. Si le gusta uno mucho la crema, le puede echar más. Pero yo le voy a echar como la mitad de la crema, ¿ok? Now I'm gonna mix that in. It's gonna look like chunky first, pero it's okay, no se me espanten. Ahorita que hierba. It will be all together. Ay, okay guys. And we'll let that boil, okay? Okay guys. La salsita de tomate con crema ya está viendo. Look, this is how it looks. Mm, I wish you guys can smell it. 
Now it's time to put the pasta in there carefully. No quiero que se me queme, ya saben. And we're gonna mix that in there. Look at that yumminess. Now this is great for like a side dish. Como por ejemplo las chuletas de puerco con esto al lado. That's bomb. Pedazo de carne. Bomb. Con esto al lado. Or si tienes prisa, this is so quick, honestly, ladies. I've made this before when I'm like pri con prisa. Y el cervado de volada a mi hijo. Bomb. So. Ahí te andamos está cocinando un poco. Y luego, luego va a estar... Just mixing it in there. Hey guys, it's ready, so it's time. Para sirvirnos. Look at all this yumminess. Put this down a minute. Okay. Time for the grand finale. Dun dun dun! dun. Nothing like queso fresco as a topping. Las manos están limpias, compadritas. No se preocupen. Y compadritos, because I know some of you are watching. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Okay. Let me try out this pasta. So good, it hit the spot. Came out good. I'm taking another bite. That's, that's good. Ah, delicioso.